I want to use this simple sprinkler system to illustrate laying out a sprinkler system uh, starting with a new file designation. Uh, this is your quick start example and we have a supply going through a pipe up through a riser into a sprinkler system with just four sprinklers. Now this is shown on top of a grid. These are 10 foot grids so these sprinklers are like 20 feet apart. So we want to lay out this system and illustrate the steps. The first step is to select new file which I'll do here. I don't have to save this file and complete this step. The system data screen will come up as appears shown. Uh, the units are correct English. Some Darcy Weisbach equation uh, coefficient of 120 is acceptable. So I'm going to fill in the data that I need to customize this to my system. I have an outside hose of 100 gallons per minute, which I'll enter there. Uh, the pipe schedule is standard. That's what I want. In order to get that, you just uh, select it from the list that pops down. Uh, the density uh, is 0.1 gallons per square foot and the minimum area per sprinkler uh, is it's a 20 by 20 spacing so it's 400 square feet. So I enter that data. Basically all the data is required is entered. Uh, we're not going to do a remote region calculation so I don't need this data. So now I go to the map and I go to grid settings. So under map settings, grids, I can turn on some grids and the ones I'd like to turn on here would be say 50 feet by 10 feet. And I do that. Now I go back to the map and we'll see these grids. Now they're much too dense for what we need. I can go in and zoom on one of these grids and it will probably give us about enough area for our problem, which is this. So if we then select a starting location and basically uh, right click I'll get my first junction and I can move over 40 feet and right click and add my first pipe and my first junction go up 30 feet go up another 20 feet here and finally another 20 feet lay out the sprinklers go down and select this with a left click then right click here and here now I've laid out the basic system except all the nodes are junction nodes. So we're going to have to change these junction nodes uh, to sprinklers. And by doing that, to do that, we just select the node, use the drop down list, and get sprinkler. And we'll do this for each of the other three sprinklers. Now finally we're going to have to uh, change this to a pressure supply. I'll click on that, drop down, and select pressure supply. Now the system is basically laid out the way we want and the next step would be to add data and do the sprinkler analysis. And that will be illustrated in the next audio video.